What's good guys, in today's video I'll be showing you how to create this background spinning rotoscope clone effect inside After Effects. It's a cool effect that can add some movement as well as energy to your music videos or your edits. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So here in After Effects, I have this clip of Lil Baby from the 5am music video. To get started, we're going to rotoscope our subject, so make sure to double click the layer, grab the roto brush tool, and to make your brush bigger or smaller, just hold the control button, left click, and just drag your mouse. And if there's any parts that you didn't want to row scope, you can just hold the alt button, left click and just drag your mouse over the, those areas. So I'm going to now rotoscope my subject. After rotoscoping your subject and going frame by frame to make sure that everything was accurate, you want to then click the freeze button. Go back into the composition. I'll be increasing the feather to around 11 and then decreasing the shift edge to negative 50 just to make the edges of our subject feel smoother. So now if we play this, we have our rotoscoped subject. Duplicate this layer by clicking Ctrl D. Bring that layer underneath and I'm going to rename this to Lil Baby BG because that's going to be the background layer. Delete the roto brush effect for that layer. To get started, I'll be animating the position of our subject. Go forward 12 frames, keyframe the position at its original position and then go back to the start. I'll be keyframing the position in a way where it slides up from the bottom to the top in the beginning. Grab those keyframes, easy ease them, make sure to turn on the motion blur. We're going to now keyframe the rotation of our background layer. Keyframe the rotation at the start and then go forward to the one second mark. Keyframe it to 360 degrees which is one full cycle. Grab those keyframes, easy ease them, turn on the motion blur. And now if we play this we have that spinning effect in the background but as it spins we can see the transparent background background so we're going to add a motion tile effect to this layer increase the output width and the output height to 500 make sure to click mirror edges now our background is completely filled and then in order to create that background slide effect as our subject animates in i'm going to keyframe the tile center at 12 frames click that layer click u to reveal the keyframes go forward 20 frames so just hold the shift button and click page down on your keyboard click that twice in order to go forward 20 frames and because i want the background to slide in a cycle of five times i'll be multiplying 960 times five which is 4800 and what that pretty much does is just bring that background layer back to its original position as the slide transition happens grab those keyframes easy ease them now in order to create that clone effect grab the original layer with our rotoscoped subject and duplicate it twice click ctrl d twice and then for the top layer i'll be renaming that to low baby mid because that's going to be the one in the middle and then i'll be renaming this to Lil Baby left because that one is going to be animating towards the left and then rename this to Lil Baby right because that one is going to be animating towards the right. Grab these two layers, click U to reveal the keyframes. We're going to delete these keyframes for these two layers because both of these are going to be animating in different directions. I'm going to have both of these two layers animate right when our subject animates up. So right at 12 frames is when our two subjects that are going to be animating left and right are going to appear. So in order to create that, just grab these two layers and and cut it to where the 12 frame starts and then keyframe the position at the start for the layer that animates towards the left. Go forward 10 frames. In order to evenly distribute these two left and right layers, what I'm going to do is just add 600 to the x-axis. So 960 plus 600 is 1560 and then go forward another 10 frames and just keyframe it back to its original position at 960. And then I'll do the same thing for the layer that animates towards the left. Keyframe the position at the start. Go forward 10 frames. Because this one is animating towards the right, subtract 960 minus 600, which equals 360. Go forward 10 frames and then keyframe it back to its original position. Grab all those keyframes, easy ease them. So now if we play this, we have our background spinning and then that clone effect as our subject animates up. In order to make our animation feel a little smoother, grab these two rotation keyframes for the background layer, bring it back two frames. Just so that right when the effect is happening, our background is already spinning in motion. Rather than having a stiff animation at the start, we're just going to have our background already rotating in and then the clone effect happens right when our subject animates up. And to really tie this entire effect together, I'm going to add a zoom out effect at the beginning. So create an adjustment layer, add a transform effect to this layer, keyframe the scale, click that layer, click U to reveal the keyframes, bring that keyframe eight frames forward. And then at the start, I'll be keyframing the scale at around 
around 285 or 284. Cut that adjustment layer to eight frames long. Grab these keyframes, easy ease them, turn on the motion blur. And now we have that zoom out effect at the start and then the background spinning with the clone effect. But that is all there is for this effect. I hope you guys like this one. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And also leave a comment if you guys have any video suggestions. And I'll see you guys in the next video.